something that you can really add to any bag and it makes it really more professional looking plus it keeps the bag off the dirty ground so I'm gonna have Danny um, clip to the side view real quick let me grab my ruler and a pen and let me show you how to easily and quickly install purse feet so I've got my four purse feet here uh, let me push that to the side so some purse feet um, come with a washer mine mine did not if your purse feet came with a washer you'll likely install your purse feet by making two slits in your fabric where the washer will be since mine did not come with a washer I'm just gonna make one slit through my fabric and um, let me show you how to do that so I've prepared a piece of fabric attached to the interfacing I'm using foam interfacing and this is to simulate the bottom panel of a bag where the purse feet would be installed so generally I like to use four purse feet in a bigger bag you can certainly use six um, but I'm gonna mark an inch and a half in from each of the sides and make a marking and that's where each purse foot is going to be installed so I'm gonna grab my quilting ruler and make those markings and I'll show you how to install all four of the purse feet it's really quick and easy purse feet are really expensive you can buy them in bulk I have a link for you in the description where you can purchase some purse feet and they come in different sizes and finishes so not all of them are dome shapes like the one I have right here some of them are completely rounded kind of like domes um, they come in different finishes and some that I've seen are really huge so if you're making a big bag you can certainly afford to install a really large purse foot so I've made the four markings where I'm going to install the feet I'm just going to use my seam ripper to get a slit started and I generally tend to like making the slit in from each of the corners so here's the corner and I'll make the slit going this direction um, just my personal preference you certainly don't have to do that but I just like to just so I know how I'm installing each of the feet so I'm starting with smaller slits you can always make small slits larger but if you kind of have an oops and make a really huge slit you're sort of stuck with that big slit and I'm going to use a seam sealant this is fray block just to reinforce the fabric since this is a quilting cotton and it does fray the seam sealant kind of prevents that so I'm just going to put a little dab on each of the slits that I made and then it's time to insert the purse feet they're just going to go through the right side of the fabric and since I have foam interfacing I'm not going to use any extra stabilizer if you're using something thinner you might want to put a little extra piece of batting or Paltex there just to stabilize um, the purse foot so I'm just going to insert them all through the right side of the fabric and if you do need to make a slit bigger feel free to do that there's no shame in starting small and making your slit a, slit a little bit bigger so there's the four purse feet I'm going to flip to the wrong side of the fabric and then this is really easy to just do by hand the prongs kind of open outward and let me finish the last two so as you can see really quick and easy like I said the purse feet are really inexpensive and you can use this method to attach purse feet to virtually any bag and that's what it looks like from the right side of the fabric so that's my demo for tonight on how to insert purse feet